uh, let's see here. Got the new Soul Badge Blitz and Patch Nodes. Okay, right. And Soul Badge, enjoy Super Daily Dash. Okay. The way I understand it, we have a daily dash for the premiums, right? The premiums have uh, six, uh, six daily dashes as well as everyone else has four if you don't have premium. And this is a way for you to earn some soul badges. If you look at this, this is the content, the weekly and the daily quest that will give you the quantity of the chest, right? The chest that contains the, um, the soul badges and the lunar pearls. Uh, as well as a chance to get the permanent. I think there's a chance to get the permanent. But as you can see, we got Tomb, Ebon, Foundry, uh, Soul Guns. You got Mass, and even Tower of Infinity, which is what you can get on the daily. And 246 plus 3, that's 9. So you can get 9 on these chests daily. And then, of course, you have uh, DKV for uh, an extra 3 on the weekly reset, right? Um, let's see, you have Performer. Looks pretty damn good on females. Females always look sexy as fuck. And then you have the, uh, the, the male, which I... I don't know what they're doing with this, um, with these shorts or folded up. It's disgusting. Uh, anyway, yeah. So, and then of course you can exchange it for these following items. I'll probably show it to you in game no matter what. Um, but I'm just looking at this, skimming through it, of course, as you know, usual. And uh, yeah, this is day one. As I record this, this is uh, this is day one. And I'm gonna see my, uh, I'm gonna see what kind of loot I can get. Uh, from the first day of this event, and we're gonna talk about uh, whether it's worth it or not for, especially for you new players out there. I think this is a way for you to get some badges for your new players, um, kind of like a catch-up game, if you will. Um, but uh, we'll look more in depth of it, of course. Uh, you got some general stuff. Of course, you have all this other stuff as well for uh, the classes. Ooh, what did they say about my class? Let's have a look. Let's see, iron plating. Da, 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 da. Can issue iron plate that was not applied to apartments affected by airborne. Uh, icon is now displayed when iron plating is on cooldown. The way I understand it, I believe destroyers now have a sheath ability, just like similar to the FMs. They could now put a iron plating shield around the party members, and it lasts for three seconds as well, just like the sheath on an FM. The destroyers now have that ability as well. Pretty cool. Uh, more of uh, now, more uh, I guess. Um, I'm more of a support class now, which is what uh one of the main reasons why I wanted to play Destro was to be support. I play support roles in games uh pretty good actually, and uh yeah man, that's fucking yeah. Other than the other than the play style and the feeling of Destro, I really love all the support abilities that it that the class has. So that's pretty cool. So now I have a sheet. So if FM sheath is on cooldown or whatever, I can use uh iron plating to get the same effect. So it's fucking awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, let's see, anything else worth noting? No, I don't think so. Alright, fuck it, let's get to the gameplay. Enough chit-chat, let's go. See everything. Yeah. Yes, Weezy's just a well in training right now. He is. Once he gets his stuff, man, he's gonna be back at the top. Not top, top of second. You're gonna be tough. That's what she said. <laughs> Woody wants to be tough. We can make that happen. We'll make that happen, sweetie. I don't have gold. Oh, you have to buy, sweetie. I gotta... Oh, that's right. He doesn't take flowers, he takes gold. Like when he shut down that one guy, Narc, no, Andre. Just hitting on him. <laughs> Oh, that guy, oh, 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 sweetie. Oh, oh, oh. That guy, he was after me again. I was doing the 24 man uh, BT on you, and that guy was in the raid. <laughs> what? He kept saying, sweetie, hi, and blah, blah, blah. And then, um, Wong goes like, reset. And he's like, is this reset? Is this Mr. Reset? <laughs> Mr. Reset. Oh, you have a Mr. now? God damn you, Reset. <laughs> what the hell? What are the He's odds? Like, I didn't know you had you, your sweetie too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, Rise has your lover. Uh, what are the odds, Rise? Meeting sweetie's lover. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have both hands full. Oh. Isn't it great? Holy fuck. Damn it, I was trying to change my soul badge. It expired.
This one we go. Yep. Okay. Yep. Go. What? Who's the mark? I'm not. Um, off, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is it you threw him too far forward? I just pressed four. That's up to him. It's not up to him. <laughs> <laughs> We get no, your grab your grab positions are are not good though. I don't know what I, I don't wanna say they're bad but but they're not good. Oh yeah. Wait, you know even the let go is terrible in this class. You know? Yep, I know for sure. Even blade dances don't throw in Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean I don't know. I don't think I, I do pretty good now. Like I know well there two and two, I think. Okay. There we go. That's why I don't like grabbing the first boss in BT because I, I let go of him and he's like 12 feet away. Or something. Start stepping back a bit. I probably should. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody needs stoners. You do. You do. You do? Okay. If, if you want, you can have uh, six. It was. Uh. Oops. Sorry. What? Uh. Well. If you still need them on your alt, go ahead, man. I'm so. Hopper. Uh, let me see how many I have. Prices, um, uh, prices are going up on stuff, and um, Soul Sun and Moon Sun's actually dropped down. Oh wow! Evolve Stones were seven gold for a while, and then six wow. gold. And oh, Ornamentar oh. back had nine gold. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so that got twenty though. What? Ornament? Yep. Hey! Oh. Nice. Turn for... Mushin Tower. Ah. I bought a lot today. Oh yeah, they yeah. actually yeah. dropped quite, yeah. quite a bit if you farm it. Not for me, what are you talking about? I get once a week. Dude, when I farmed it those two days, I got almost 30 within the two days I was farming it. I told you! And how many runs? Uh, you, no, I, I'm sure you get them. I, I don't get them. I'm, I'm serious, like, I... I see him like one in eight or ten runs. Yeah. Not joking. I got one. From... I've probably gotten about six or seven total, and I've done it like seventy or eighty times, and I probably got six or seven. So that's probably like one in ten. <laughs> that's mm. terrible. Yeah, no, this, not joking. There's quite a few runs I get too. Hmm. Yeah, same. Four nineteen yeah. and twenty. Uh, I have it. All right, ready. If that's the case, I might. Farm that for a bit. Good. That's the only thing I really want to farm. No, I actually just want to farm to sell though. Hey, the best and part is the the, the, the unbound ones. I love that. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason. That's awesome. All right, treasure couches. It's all secret. Oh, oh goddamn! I want that. I'll take that five right there. Sui has one, I have zero, Sneaks has one, Ocean has two, Easy and Pop have zero. I'll take that five. I'll take that. And then I want to see five. which one Pop takes first. You can take that. You take that Pop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine. No. Mine. Yeah. I don't have to worry right, about two. getting for a while. Now he's going to disappear in this. Yep, I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 This this time they're uh, they're different groups now, so you actually won't get your turn for a long time. That's fine. On bid it up, bid it up. One seventy seven, two hundred fourteen. Come what? on, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Yeah, you. <laughs> you should have came. Oh, <laughs> 313. 
Oh, still going. <laughs> oh, okay. 345. I gained. Oh, I gained seven, almost 70 gold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the mess, uh, but I just ran all the dailies. This is the first day. So as I record, this is the first day that uh, the event, the Soul Badge event, has been going on. And I was able to grab, uh, let's see, 12 chests today. Now, DKV drops three chests, so I think on dailies, you're going to be able to get nine chests, right? If you read the, um, whatever dungeons drop these chests, uh, you're going to be able to get nine and uh, DKV drops three, so uh, you know that's three every time you do the quest. Anyway, that's just once a week, so you get 12 on the weekly reset and get nine every single day. We're gonna see what we what I can get uh, from the first day, and uh, we'll, uh, I guess we'll compare results. I don't know. I hopefully uh, I don't know what to expect, man. I don't really need any badges, but we'll see. I guess I can get one for an alt, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got a bunch of these. I bet you these are all the fleeting ones. Well, I don't know. Someone told me... Oh, wait a second. I didn't even open up these four chests right here. We're going to see what we can get. Damn. I didn't even see that. Okay, fleeting blue moon. Oh my gosh, this fucking sucks. My inventory is terrible right now. Okay. Didn't even notice that I, I still had four badges. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, yeah. All right. So there's I get a bunch of the fleets. I got a bunch of the fleeting. Uh, um, oh, there's a primal force. Nice primal force. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and uh, 19 pearls. Okay, so I got 19 pearls total, and then I got a bunch of the fleeting stuff. So yeah, man, these things all have one hour durations. Like I said, you can you can get these. You can get these for alts if you wanted to. I believe. Um, if I go to Dragon Express, the event. That's not the. Where's the event? Here's the event. Okay, I'm only now just looking at this uh, at this now. I didn't even check it out today. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. I so I guess from what I'm looking at for let's see, it's just all the old badges. Just letting you know right now. I don't think there is. Yeah, it's just the old badges from blue, green, and the red one. Um, there are no. Mushin badges and there is of course there is none of the uh, the new season badges the new season badges Of course, I think it's this one, right? Yeah, the new season badges right here is the purple badge pretty cool I'm probably gonna grab that purple badge right there It's gonna decrease uh, fury by another six seconds every time I use my smash which is pretty good Obviously, I'm not gonna use it as my main but if I want to get uh, fury down as much as possible I might just try it out for fun, um, but that's the purple badge for me The other one for shadow is the ember stomp eradicate will get decreased by seven seconds on the ember stomp That's for shadow um, Anyway, so you can get the uh, the permanent badges the problem I only see with this and I think a lot of you are gonna agree with me Especially for you new players out there if you want to grab the old uh, Badges which are of course bound to account. So whenever you get this you can send it to an alt uh, the only problem I see is you still have to actually buy the tokens off of the market. The only way to get these tokens are, of course, through the, the market, the previous season one. So I think that's a little bit shitty on their part. I feel like if they really wanted to make this uh, friendly for the newer players, right, because BNS is getting new players all the time, uh, they would take out this goddamn uh, requirement to have the tokens, you know? I mean, asking for 35 tribute tokens, I mean, let's look on the market. Let's fucking... Let's look on the market. Actually, I'm gonna do Fury token because it's a lot easier to spell on the spot. So, I mean, if we look at the uh, the Fury token, look at this. What, what, what is this bullshit? Look at this. 14 gold. They go in for 15 gold each, right? Just about, just about 15 gold after this one sells. And you need 35 of them if you want to get a, a green permanent badge. You know, in, in a new player, new free-to-play players. Uh, perspective, man. I uh, just saying. I think that's a pretty bad part on on NTSoft for doing that. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I don't necessarily agree that you still need the tokens, especially for you newer players out there, motherfucker. You don't have 44 gold right off the back if you want to get just three, or even those of you players who you know played for a little bit, but you're not. Uh, you don't really have the gold for it. Um, I don't know. I just don't see that being very beneficial. Okay, I really don't. Uh, these badges. These tokens are very expensive. I mean, the only thing I could tell you is, um, 
just keep on doing your daily so that you may have a chance to get the uh, the full version, the uh, the actual full version. It's a very slight chance. Of course, you're, you're m most of the time you're just going to be getting these fleeting ones, to be honest with you. But there is a slight chance to get the full version. But yeah, man, for those of you out there just starting out, these fucking tokens are expensive. And I really don't think if they were trying to make this event as a catch-up game to some people or even alts, I don't even know. I just don't see why we should we should have the previous season tokens i really don't see why we should do that it should only be lunar lunar pearls you know and if anything make some other item that's very obtainable to get fucking lunar pearls and naryu coins that would be great you know that'd be awesome um but no you still have to get this so i don't know i don't know what their intent was on this event if they really were trying to make it a catch-up game for people they really shouldn't have added this um this tribute token uh, uh, prerequisite in order to buy the full version that's just my take on it that is just my opinion I don't know maybe they just did it just to have a discount maybe you know maybe you had 35 tokens laying in your inventory and you couldn't get it last season but you have 35 when the season ended you can you still have a chance to use that 35 and you can buy that without having to buy 15 gold per token on the market uh, to get that uh, to get that uh, that 70 requirement for this one right <laughs> It's a really good, I guess, fucking discount for you know the you know the your you you veteran players I should say. Uh, it's a good discount if you had 35 sitting in your inventory that you didn't sell yet. I don't know why you didn't sell them though. They they're pretty good gold. Um, but for those of you newer players, man, it's just I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it happening. I really don't see it happening unless you, you unless you exchange your gold, you, you get some gold, right? Um, but that's just my take on it. I think. Um, Either way, though, I think for me, I'm not really going to get this. I, I really don't think so. If I was to get a soul badge, I would have to just, you know, bank on the fucking RNG box and hope for a, uh, a um, you know, a full version one instead of this fleeting bullshit. I, most likely, I will probably be spending my stuff on, uh, you know, of course, oils or Xanos this. I think that's what a lot of people are going to be going for anyway. So, uh, either way, guys, at the end of the day, keep collecting your pearls, keep getting, you know, your discs if you still need the discs. Um, those of you who do need your oils for your souls, of course, I was reading your comments on the last video, and it seems like that's what a lot of you guys are going to be going for, which, um, you know, of course, I applaud you for that, because uh, that's what you should be going for, because God knows fucking when they're going to nerf the cost for the uh, the soul, right? I'm pretty sure they're going to they're gonna nerf this in the future, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. The best thing to do right now is stack up on some oils as best as you can. Very easy. Just do your dailies. Get some pearls. And, um, yeah, man, get as much oils as you possibly can. Um, so, yeah. Um, either way, guys, I think that is about it. That's pretty much my results. My results uh, after opening 12 boxes. This is day one. Day one. And I'll be collecting these pearls so that I may uh, grab... Um, See, well, what would I get? Maybe I get some feathers, right? Maybe I get some raven feathers or something like that. Or EXP if I want to do my EXP. Uh, fucking, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I could go for the oils again if I want that true soul. But honestly, it's not really a requirement for me to have true soul right now. I could still kill the raven king without the true soul. So, <laughs> it's not a requirement, but I could do that. So, I don't know what I'm going to spend my, uh, my pearls on. But uh, we'll see. We will see at the end of the day. Either way, I hope you guys, I hope you're all having a very easy day. I hope for the best for you on your uh, Lunar Pearl journey. And uh, hopefully you can stack up on some oils as much as you can. Get that fucking soul up. I'm telling you, it's going to be a huge improvement in your DPS. And uh, overall, I guess, um, happy, happy raiding, happy fucking eventing, whatever you want to call it. Happy Lunar Pearling, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more to come your way. Love you all as always, and this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. I'm out. Peace! Thanks for watching today's video, guys. It really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you're all are having a very easy day, and this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, 
and I'm out. Peace.